Welcome back to the Mingo Live, and I want you to take a good look at those names that you see, those titles, those, those organizations that you see on your, on your screen there. We're showing you a list of the 62 nonprofit agencies that are going to be participating in this year's event, the Coastal Bend Community Foundation's Day of Giving. And write this date down. Tuesday, November the 12th. El 12 de noviembre, una fecha mucho muy importante. There are 1.5 million dollars in matching funds. Can we, as the Coastal Bend region, raise 1.5 million in donations so that we can receive, all these organizations can receive that 1.5 million dollars in matching funds? Absolutely we can. I think we can, and Rudy. We can absolutely. It. Remember, the agencies will not receive their full amount allocated to them if they do not reach their individual goal. So again, you can donate to your agency of choice at coastabendayofgiving.org to make your gift. Now on the Mingo Live, we are going to highlight one of the participating agencies in a day of giving, but first we want to hear from one of their clients about how they they helped in our community and that's how it is here like I, you know what some weeks are good some weeks aren't sometimes I can't afford it sometimes I can't it's like you said so those it's the heart it's that I got you it's, it's, I care about you I want you to come back imagine that and now we hear from another recipient um, of your generosity and we have with us uh, Diane Nielsen from the Children's Coalition of Aransas County. Welcome, good to have you on Domingo Live. Thank you so much, Rudy, I'm delighted to be here. Dan, how did this organization begin? There was a reason behind it. There was. We were born of Hurricane Harvey. Remember that little breeze yes. that blew yes. through? Yes, yeah. we do. In 2017, our community was just devastated because Hurricane Harvey actually made landfall in Rockport, mm -hmm. Texas. Um, and at that point in time, I was a children's ministries director at a local church, and there had been a group of ministry directors who were meeting together for about a year before the storm. When we got back to town after evacuating and we saw the devastation, we realized we had to do something to help families. And so we created a three week long emergency childcare program that we called Camp Harvey. Okay. And Camp Harvey served 52 young children, um, no charge to the families because of the generosity of our neighbors. How awesome that is that? And to continue to be able to do this, to continue with this tradition, is not so much because you, you want to, it's because the need is there. The Tell us about the need. The need is there. When we uh, got through that immediate recovery period after Harvey, we thought, well, our work is done. Yeah. But we quickly realized that it was not. Uh, the poverty rate in our community is higher than average, as is the child abuse rate. There are so many families that are struggling just to make ends meet. And so that's what we're about. Our vision is that we'll have a community in which every child will have a safe, healthy, and happy childhood. What, what particular services do you provide? We have several different programs. One thing that we do is we have a family resource center. And in our family resource centers, families can come in and get everything from a can of green beans to get them through the evening meal to diapers. We have resources such as the, the uh, care portal. The care portal is a system that connects families with the church community. We have tuition assistance for child care. And we have a child care center that serves 60% of our kiddos are from low income families. Now let's talk about how important, how vital this period, this one day of giving, November the 12th is to your organization, the Children's Coalition of Aransas County. This is so significant. We are just so excited. This is our first year to participate and we're so delighted to have this opportunity because funding is tough, especially right now. Funding is, is skinny yeah. and we're kind of in the boonies. You know, we're in Rockport, Texas. We're in Aransas County. We're a little bit away from the big population centers. So we desperately need help to continue providing the services that we provide. Do you know how much will be needed to be matched or, or how much you're hoping to get? We're hoping to get $25,000 from our donors. So then that will be matched by the uh, Coastal Bend Community Foundation. And how can our viewers find out more about your organization? You can go to childrenscoalitionac.org and visit our website and see all about us. We also have a Facebook page. Very good. Diane Nielsen with Thank the Children's you. Coalition of Aransas County. May God bless you and allow you to 
prosper and do even more than 25,000, maybe double yes. that so that you can absolutely. get more money. That would be amazing. Rockport Strong. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. And you're doing so much for that community. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much.